tough economy making life hard for small business owners. A report showed local shops generate two to three times more local economic activity than chain businesses. But with three recent closures, we wanted to find out what struggles area businesses are facing. News 10's Patsy Kelly went looking for answers. Three Terre Haute restaurants closed down in the past two weeks. Two of them, Beef O'Brady's and Giovanni's, were locally owned and operated. Manager of Family Table, Richard Simon, knows firsthand the challenges small businesses face, but was disappointed to hear the toll it's taken on other restaurants. I feel uh, quite uh, surprised. Uh, it could be because we might be next. You never know. President and CEO of the Terre Haute Chamber of Commerce, Ken Brengel, says he can't attribute the recent closings to anything in particular. But he doesn't want this to turn into a trend. He thinks the best recourse is getting a boost to the local economy. Well, as the economy comes back, that'll be the best way to stem businesses going out of business. So. Richard says it's difficult for locally owned and operated businesses to compete against chain corporations. But he thinks they're doing quite well, expanding to two locations, one being less than a year old. Richard says small businesses offer things chains cannot, like fresh ingredients and family-friendly service. But that doesn't make him any less worried. I know that the economy has a lot to do with it. And of course, there's many, many other factors that uh, can be the cause of them closing down. But yeah, and we could be next. Uh, we're just hoping that uh, we'll stay open. Uh, for now, we are doing quite well, uh, keeping our uh, loyal customer. And trying to keep the local economy going strong. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Murphy, Patsy Kelly, News 10. News 10 tried reaching out to all three businesses. None could be reached for comment.